All right, well, here you can see that I have uh, my DS1812 with 1,024 megabytes or one gigabyte of RAM installed. I plan on upgrading to the max, which I believe is three gigabytes. It was only, I think, $12.70, so I figured why not. Uh, you can see over here that currently I'm only using 28% of my memory and for the most part it it barely even uses that usually it's around 20 percent and this is with the security station running 24 7 uh, I've used Plex now the Plex media server that's always running but for the most part it's pretty low on memory but I figured since it's so cheap why not so I'm going to uh, this is the before and we'll see We'll see what what it how much is available after. All right. I'm going to upgrade the RAM in my Synology 1812 from one gigabyte to a total of three, which I believe is is the maximum on RAM. Now, hopefully the lighting works out good here. You can see I bought this on Amazon. It was a total of twelve dollars and seventy cents, and I figured for that price, why not max it out now? But uh, there is a lot of videos out there for on how to do it on the 1512, and this is the 1812. And as far as I know, the only difference is two more extra bays, or I take that back, three extra bays. So in order to do it, you need to remove these screws. You're going to see one, two, three, four, five, six, six screws in the back. And it's a lot like a computer. And if you look up the ones for the 1511 or 1512, I believe it's the exact same process. Uh, currently, it only uses about 20% of my RAM now. But at $12.70, why not max it out? I guess that it can make a difference if you're doing... Uh, in your file transfer rates but right now on large files I'll achieve easily over 100 megs on a gigabit LAN per second anyway uh, I've even gotten a little bit faster than that but for the most part that's that's about the average and if you're really into some of the performance numbers and stuff the more scientific uh, small net dot builder all right I believe it's small builder dot net I'd have to I'll put a link in the uh, show notes and that will he he's broke down this m machine pretty well for all the benchmarks all right so now that we got that off or the screws out we just slide it back just like a computer case if you've ever opened a computer before get rid of this On this side here, this is basically your motherboard, and it should be the, the exact same whether you have a 1512 or an 1812. And this is going to be our RAM slot that we're going to put our RAM into. You should you should always touch the chassis or the power supply to kind of ground yourself. Especially in the winter time, that the air gets dry and you end up making electric static shocks, which they say can uh, they say can wreck your RAM, but I've I've never had that happen, so but it doesn't hurt. Now you're just going to want to line up. You're going to have a uh, a slot here, and you're just going to want to line that up. It's pretty. Pretty straightforward, pretty obvious. Kind of at an angle, and then snaps in. That's it. So I included a screenshot of of the machine running with just one gig installed, and I'm gonna fire it up and get a screenshot of it with with the three gigs installed. 
and that's basically how you install memory into your 1812 Synology NAS. If you have any questions, please uh, post a comment. Thanks. All right. Now I've completed my memory upgrade. I've added just added a two gig uh, stick of RAM, and we're back into basically the operating system, the DSM of my Synology NAS, and we're going to just go through and see if it's registered. And we can just go to system information for that to find out how much memory you have. And here you can see total physical memory is 3,072 megabytes now. Whereas before I showed in the beginning of this video, it was the 1,024. Uh, another thing we can check, before I was using around 28% when I, when I did the video. We can go to the resource monitor here. And now it's now I'm only using seven percent. I'm sure it's still about the same amount what I was using before, but now I just have more of it. And uh, everything seems to be working okay. I'll have to report back if there's any problems. But uh, and I'm I do plan on putting some links to the to the stick of RAM in the notes. So if you enjoyed this video, please give me a like and s subscribe. Thanks a lot.